We are live on Yonkers Voice and today our guest is Councilman Anthony Maranti. Mr. Maranti is here because uh, we are going to talk us about an issue that has been uh, talked about in the city, term limit extension. Uh, I got to make it clear that this is about the term limit. Mr. Maranti had made it very clear multiple times, I heard it, that this is nothing against the mayor. Actually, Mr. Maranti and the mayor are good friends. This is about the process, it's about the politics, it's about the people, it's about the Yonkers. It's not a personal issue. That's is that a fair statement, sir? Absolutely, Drew. Thank you very much for having me to, uh, to clarify that. Exactly. Because, you know, some people say, well, you know, they don't like the mayor, it's because of the mayor. This is not about the mayor, it's about the process. Correct? That's correct. That's correct. Well, let's start by what is your position, without going too much into it, because I want to ask you a couple of questions. It's very simple. It's very simple. Go ahead. Uh, you know, I'm for term limits. Okay, because what you happens, are for? Oh, I'm, uh, absolutely. We have, we, we want the, the, the three terms was fine. I mean, I, I voted to extend it in eighteen, and I and I could see the twelve years necessity because sometimes you're in the process of doing things, and I felt that that particular time that was a fair extension. However, term limits has a very important um, issue behind it, and that is, is 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 control. And what happens is once someone is in in control of. Uh, of a situation for a period of time, it becomes a very difficult uh, position for others to um, to get involved, and it, and that's why you know it's important to have you know as well as someone who's doing you you need to make a change. Oh, Mr. Maranti, but what about those that are happy with the job that the mayor has done for Yonkers? Many people I speak with many people they are very happy. Of course, there is people that are not happy. Not because the, the mayor, the current mayor, has not done a good job, mm -hmm. but because they feel it's time for him to leave and it's time for somebody else to come into the arena and do what it needs to be done mm -hmm. for Yonkers. How do I respond to those? Yeah. The rules were set back in 94 that this city has term limits. And it was um, you know, ratified again in 2001. This is a term limit city. Therefore, if the people voted in term limits, and again, again, we, we, we didn't make the change in 18, which I looked at that as a one shot, the people should be the, 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 they should be the ones that make the change. If they're happy with the mayor and they want to let someone continue on, which I totally disagree with, if they, if they did, you know, try to over, you know, abolish term limits. If the people, people could vote to abolish it, I would disagree with it, but if the people voted that, that's what it is, it's, it's the people's vote. That's the important part here. It's nothing about the person, it's, and, and happy or not, that's the rules. So let's have a vote, and, and, and I can tell you that we will have a referendum on the ballot November 7th of 2023 that will change it back to uh, three terms. Now, let me see if uh, I'm hearing it correctly. Because very often, what we say mm -hmm. and what somebody else hears mm -hmm. are two different things. Mm -hmm. So what I'm hearing from you, even though you think that uh, we should not extend the term limits, it's fine as is, mm -hmm. but you're still in favor that the people should vote for and decide if they want to extend it or not. That's correct. That is correct. That's absolutely correct. It's the, it, it, this is one vote. You know, um, we do make changes in laws all the time, but this is one law that the people have to have a say in, because uh, you know you can't have you know eight people, you know the seven council members and the mayor make this decision. Um, uh, you know, way back in two thousand one, you know they had uh, tried to get the council to overturn term limits, but the council at the time put their foot down and said, no, you want to do it, let's take it to the voters. And the voters said, no, keep it at term, keep the two terms at that particular time. So it's obviously a political game that should not be done by, by eight people. It should be done by the, the people of the city of Yonkers. But the, a political game in what aspect? Are you saying that there is a reason why six of the, how many votes against, no, there were three votes against, right? Four to three, yes. Four to three. Uh, and the mayor has decided, yes. Yes. There is a, an interest on the councilman and woman that voted in favor. Do they have uh, 
an interest by default in voting in favor? Well, again, you'd have to ask them, but, but the point of the matter here is, is that four people and the mayor should not be deciding this. That's all that's, it, it's, it's th that, do they have a, a, an agenda to the whole situation? Well, you know, let's face it, again, the more you stay in, in office, the, the harder it is to, to get you out of office. And um, I'm, like this, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to, you know, listen, I, I, I was on the chopping block last year and I won my election. Very tough election as it was, I won. So the people chose me. Um, yes, the mayor still has to run, there's no question about it, but the point of the matter here is, again, you shouldn't allow just a certain number of people make this particular decision. That's, that's my stand, that's my point on it. But those in your district, they voted for you to make the decisions on their behalf. You represent them. Your vote equals what they feel, what you think is best for them. Right. Now, you have opposed certain issues that affect your district. You spoke on it mm -hmm. because the people of your district felt like you represent them well. Yeah. You speak for them. I do. So those council people that voted in favor of extended the term limit, don't they speak, to, speak for the people that uh, they represent? Listen to what they've said. They, they, I think they, they, they personally feel that there should not be term limits. Okay, but that's that's okay. They they feel that way. It's not uh, that their decision. Okay, Th that's their personal decision of feelings. It needs to be done by the people. I'll, I'll stand by that 100% of the time every day. Lawsuit was filed uh, a week or so ago. Yes. Give it or take. I'm not mm -hmm. sure the mm -hmm. exact date. Mm -hmm. And one of the arguments for that lawsuit is that no, they should not vote on something that benefits them personally. Mm -hmm. By voting that, they also vote that they can run again, no term limits. So they shouldn't be voting for something that they, they will can, benefit. And they can keep doing it over and over again until we put people in place that are in favor of term limits. If, so so here, here's the situation. Yes, they, they, it, so I don't know if that lawsuit's gonna prevail, okay? The only thing that may stand in our, uh, and you know, again, I, Whatever way it goes, I think it's, it, it may fail, but the point of the matter is that we made this vote after um, Election Day, after November the 8th, okay? which basically put us in a position where it is going to directly benefit, although there has to be an election. So that's where it may fail, is that because you didn't give them an extra term, they got the right to run for another term. So it may, but again, I think if you recall back in 2018, the vote took place in October, which was before Election Day, which kind of gives you a buffer that says, okay, we didn't vote for us directly, we voted for the, the next council because it's, or the next election, which was after November of, of 2001. So, um, I'm sorry, that was the back, the back in 2018. So, so again, there was that election day in between the votes. Now we're on the other side of, of the election, and therefore it does kind of directly benefit it where, you know, it's, you know so it's an argument. I don't know how it's going to hold up, but I, I personally think it's, it's, it's going to fail in court. But it's an important point, because lots of people are saying this is a given for another term for the mayor. That's not exactly what it is. This gives him an opportunity to run again for another term. Absolutely. No guarantees that he will win. That's correct. There's many people that might be running for that position, and I hear that you might be one of them. Well, we're considering it. You thinking about uh, running for mayor? I'm, I'm considering running for mayor of City of Yonkers, yes. So guys, I love exclusiveness. Uh, you know, things that come to us first. So you heard it from Councilman Anthony Maranti that he's considering it. He's not saying that he is running, but there is a possibility that you will run for mayor of Yonkers. There's a possibility. I'll go that far. There's a possibility. <laughs> You know, again, it's a, it's, it's a big undertaking. It's a, it's a major campaign. Um, but I'm running for the city. I'm running for, if I do run, I'll be running for mayor of the city of Yonkers. I'm not running against anybody. I'm running against, I'm running for the, the mayor of Yonkers. And again, because I think that there's a lot of things that the city uh, can be improved. There's a lot of improvement that can be made in the city. Mr. Maranti, but what about those that might say, well, Mr. Maranti is voting against extension the term limits because he has a, an interest on that. Not to allow Mayor Max Spano to run. 
So that way there is no opposition. Would you run for mayor even if the mayor span runs for mayor? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, like I said, that's... Uh, Regardless. Uh, absolutely. If, yeah, there's, um, in, in my eyes, in my eyes, three terms are up. Okay. Uh, it's an open seat. I look at this as an open seat right now. I look forward to, you know, um, again, as we get closer and, and the decision is close to be made, that whoever I'm running, I'm going to run. I'm running for I'm running Regardless. For, I don't care who's, who, put them up. No, let's go. So you are making the announcement? No, I'm not. You just said it. I'm not. You, I'm, see, I'm, you see what I, I just said, what I, you say, what I, I hear are two I different things? I will let you know, Mr. Rue. <laughs> You will, you, will, you will be there when that announcement is taking place. I guarantee you. Thank you, thank you. Now, you'll be the first to know. This. You yes. brought this in. Yes. What is this about? You want to explain to the people sure. what is this about? Sure. What, what I brought here was when we went through the process, okay, this, this, this was presented to us. You'll see it says the word in favor. This, this, the, these were the people that sent in emails for, uh, in favor of expanding term limits, okay? The reason I brought this here was to show you that what we, what we got have here is, I would probably say, roughly 300, uh, maybe maybe 400 um, responses in favor. But in actuality, there's probably only five because all of them are form letters that were sent out to various people asking them to to uh, uh, sign this and bring it in and say it was in favor of Mike's battle and, and extend the term limits, which again, to me, it dilutes it because the people that came out and spoke against it were from the heart, not from the request. Um, and that is why uh, I think that when the referendum gets on the ballot on November 7th of uh, 23, um, it, the people will choose to stay at, the, at three terms because that's what's going to be on one way, shape, or form, whether we get it done by a vote of the council members or if we have to go out and get petitions. Because this is not a Democrat or Republican thing because the people that spoke that night against it were from both sides of the fence. Now, in my conversations with the people of Yonkers, you know, there was one thing that they said that the majority of, because I was there, I heard the people going to the podium and saying that they were in favor because uh, of the work that Mayor Spen has done for the city of Yonkers, that they support him to stay, not to stay, but they support him in case he decides to run because Mayor Mike Spano has not announced that he's running yet. But they will support if he decides to. Now, some people are saying that most of those people who were there were people that were called to be there. Uh, city workers, friends of city workers. Have you heard anything on that? Well, there's, there's, there's no question that, the, that most of, I don't want to say 100%, because I can't guarantee that, um, were asked to come there and speak on the mayor's behalf. Um, and again, a lot of them said the wrong thing. They said we wanted to we give Mike Spano, let Mike Spano stay and be mayor. Well, that's all we hear that. That's not the discussion. The discussion was, do you offer are you for term limits or I'm against term limits? So that's the whole point. The point is, we're not. We have to take Mike Spano out of out of the equation. Yes, he he's done a job. He's done, he's helped a lot of people. Um, he's done a lot of positive things here for the city. Our revenue is fantastic. You know, of course, of the people that are here paying taxes in one way, shape, or form. Um, but. Again, the issue was term limits, not my spouse. And you made it very clear. You, on your speech there, you said that you and the mayor are good friends, and your position is nothing against the current mayor. It's, a, it's against the process of the way that things were done. Okay. Now, what about timing? People were complaining and talk about the timing, the speed of the process. How do you feel about that? Was that done in that way for a specific reason? Absolutely. I mean, again, you, you're, you're doing it right after Election Day, just around Thanksgiving. The focus is not there, okay? Um, and that's why I didn't continue to try to push this referendum now um, as we wind it down the year because, you know, um, you know, it's better to do it when everyone is happy. You know, when, let's, let's get through the holidays. Happy, happy New Year to everybody. And uh, here, here's, here, here, let's put a referendum on the ballot. And let's see. And this, and now it's now in the light of day. You know, the best disinfectant is the daylight. You know what I'm saying? So, so this way, this is a nice, clean issue. Let's uh, let's take it to the people. Now, Mr. Morante, let me give a shout out to Dos Marias, 200 New Main Street in Yonkers. This is the place for the best Mexican food 
not just in Yonkers, I will say county, New York State, perhaps. They have I, good stuff. I, I've, I've only eaten here once. I, I don't want to be, I'm not, I'm not a food critic. I eat everything. You eat everything? I, I'm, 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 I have an easy palate. But I'm sure Dos Maria's is a great place. It's a great eat. place. Not just to come for Mexican food, but also to come and mix and mingle Absolutely. with the other people. You can make new friends, have a few drinks. They have great drinks. So this is a place to go. Absolutely. And guys, don't forget to support our local business. When I say support, I mean to actually do it. Because lots of us say, let's support our local business, but they actually don't do it. Okay? There is a difference. Actions, not words. Don't forget. Dos Marias, 200 New Main Street. Come on down. They have their Taco Tuesday, famous Taco Tuesday. Don't forget to stop by and try it out. Let's have lunch. Why not? Okay? So, people are that out there and saying, what can I do? At this stage in the game, I need to express my opinion, I need to speak, and I want people to represent what I feel, what I think. What is it the next thing that I got to do? Well, Call somebody, reach somebody, write somebody? What is the next step? Well, I'm trying, I'm trying to understand in, in, in what... In, in regards in, to the term leave. In regards to the term leave? Well, what we have to do is educate. We have to educate because a lot of people have no idea what happened here. Like you said, the process happened very quick. Nobody knows. But those that do know feel that they were, you know, um, it, it's an insult. You know, people, people like to be part of the process. You know, that's my, my biggest thing is when something comes up in my district that's, you know, certain issues, I have to take responsibility. I'll take the floor, I'll take the floor, positive or negative. Um, but as far as a big issue, people want to be part of the process. And this is now, it's my job to educate the folks of what happened with the process and let them, like I said, they will, they will have an opportunity. Their voice will be heard November 7th of 23. Um, it'll be, it, there's gonna be a referendum on the ballot. If I have to go out and get, well, not, I, like I said, it's not gonna just be me going out getting 7,500 signatures. It, it, it's, it's a, it's a, a Democrat and Republicans that are very upset that we'll, we'll, we'll be getting quite a few signatures on this. Because the people want to be part of a process. They don't like to be shut out. As always, guys, Yonkers Royce, does not endorse or oppose any candidate. Mr. Morante is a Republican. I am not, but I'm considering. I put a voter registration form just in case. Nevertheless, Mr. Morante has a seat on my show anytime he feels like it, anytime he needs. Mr. Morante or anyone from any political party, Yonkers Voice, it's about the people. Our interest is to inform you. How you decide, it's on you. We give you the information, and give, by giving you the information does not mean that we are inclined this way or that way. There is many things that I, I'm inclined with the Republican Party, and there is many things that I'm inclined with the Liberal and Democratic Party. But Yonkers Voice is not about me. Yonkers Voice is about you. We're here to give you the information that we feel it's important. We stay away from the nonsense. We stay focused on what matters and what matters is inform the people of Yonka. How they decide, it's on them. Well, that's, like, that's my campaign slogan, bro. Yes. It's all about you. I will send you the bill. <laughs> I will send. Now, is there anything else, Mr. Morante? Because this is about extending the term limit, your position, educating, informing, telling the people where, do we are, where are we now. Okay. So is there anything else that you would like to... Well, what I could say is anyone can, you know, reach out to me at my, uh, my office here at, at City Hall um, if they, have, they want to express their uh, opinions on, on, on the term limits. If they want to get involved with uh, helping us get the petitions if, if, in fact, we don't get it passed by the council because, like, it's a big undertaking to get 7,500 signatures. So, again, you know, it's, it's uh, very important that you get involved. This, this is a decision that belongs to you, the people, not eight people in City Hall. So please reach out to me, let me know how you feel about it because we, we want to you know, move forward in putting a referendum on the ballot so that you, the people, will be able to make the decision whether or not this term limit extension should, should, should stay or go back to uh, what it was at three terms. Now, so guys know, this interview here, it's an, a dynamic and organic conversation no questions were given to Mr. Morante. All that we had said, you know, this interview, it's about the term limit extension and his position. 
But as always, I have one question that I have to ask that was not on that scope. I'm not sure if Mr. Morant is going to answer, but that does not mean I'm not going to ask. Go ahead. That day yes. of the vote, yes. we saw something that we should not have seen in that chamber. Okay. Do you remember? With the people talking to their constituents? People talking to their constituents, uh, a fight. Uh, people were very emotional about what we were talking. But do you think that was anyone out of place? Was anything that was said that shouldn't be said? Because look, I don't want to criticize the people. Right. Because we are the people, and we often talk based on our emotions, we hit up. But when you or other elected officials talk, I'm thinking that you need to be careful with what you say, the reactions of what you say, the consequences of what you say. How do you feel about that? Was anyone out of place? Well, I'll have to let the, the again, the, the, the voters in their respective districts make that decision. You know, it, it is an emotional thing. Some people say things, and you know, again, when the, when the meeting was over, you know, in spite of our vote, you know, we all get along. And, and you know, I'm not here to criticize my colleagues. They, they spoke their piece. Um, it's up to their, their constituents to decide if it was, uh, you know, right or wrong. You know, they'll get a little, you know, a little emotional, and that's it. You know, things get emotional. You know, it happens. It happens. I, no I, get, I get emotional all the time. But, you know, again, it, it, it's, it happens. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to criticize my colleagues that, you know, because, again, it, it was a very, it's a very big issue. And, and it does get, um, uh, you know, uh, it, it does affect you. And you say things and you have to live by your consequence, the consequence of what you said and what you didn't say. We all, we all made a comment that night. And, again, at the end of the day, the, the voters of the district will uh, decide whether they, uh, they, they uh, appreciate it or, or not appreciate the comments that were made. It comes down to the voting. So it's all about the people. Elections do have consequences, and elections do matter, and your vote counts. Absolutely. So guys, vote. Make sure that you go to the ballot and vote. Your vote matters. On that note, we conclude our interview. I thank you for taking the time to sit down with us, to sit down and talk to the people of Yonkers. Thank you, right. Talk. I appreciate it. I, again, if I get the opportunity to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year. Um, uh, stay tuned for some uh, interesting Yonkers uh, uh, politics in uh, 2023. Thank you very much for your, the opportunity. I second that motion and wish you all the same and more. Thank you for being following Yonkers Voice for the last 17 years. It looks like it's not, but it's 17 years amazing. I've been doing this thing. Absolutely amazing. Where's the time go? And we have an Asian day. Exactly. That's why I like him. Mr. Morant is always nice to me, even though sometimes we see things differently, but not that much. Okay, not that much. Uh, but look, we are adult men and we don't have to see things in the same way. But one thing that we always have to do is respect each other. Correct. And for that, I thank you, sir. That's what our, not just Republican, it's respect. Exactly. That's all that it's really all about matters. Respect. It's all about That's respect. That's what makes this country great. We can have our own political view. We can express what, how we see things, how we feel. But when we disrespect each other, that's when things go wrong. That's when you cross the line. That's when you cross the line. Yes. Thank you, guys. Until next time.